<laughs> hey, what is going on, crypto people? It is uh, B Crypto Siege with another day in the life. The crazy life that's the digital asset space. So BlackRock, listen to me. BlackRock and this ETF. I'm not I'm I'm a little unsure of the confusion here. You know what? I think I should move this. Can I move that over a little bit? Yeah, I mean, my hand's not always in the way. Hopefully that'll stay on there. I'm a little confused with this whole BlackRock ETF and the questioning of approval. I'm, I'm a little confused. Like, for, like, who, who thinks that the BlackRock ETF is not going to get approved because it may appear to show some bias? That, that, that the world of crypto and the digital asset space is going to be in an uproar because Gensler approved the fourth additional, the fourth uh, executive branch of the U.S. government, which is BlackRock. Who's going to be up in arms about that? I said up in a roar. <laughs> it's funny. Who's going to be up in arms about that? Like, some people think BlackRock ain't going to get approved because how it appears to look showing favoritism or whatever look and, and now we got what we got valkyrie following one another one fidelity may follow and the uh for bitcoin ecf as well blackrock listen to me fam blackrock is the fourth branch of the u.s government period point stop period full stop that's it but i took i say this on the channel all the time blackrock has the Fed on speed dial, current administration on speed dial. I mean, are you kidding me? Yeah, current administration. And probably got a separate line, probably got a hotline, like a red line, like a red phone. <laughs> For Larry Fink. Like, I don't understand it. So, you know, I just don't see how there's any way that they don't approve it. Look, the traditional financial players are going to come into this space. Very few of the new people are going to survive it. Coinbase will survive it, but they're hooked up with BlackRock. Circle, in my opinion, will survive it. But will uh, will uh, other U.S. exchanges? I don't think so. Like, I just don't think so. It, right, the choice has been made. The decision has been made. You know, it was it was a race to get as much. As, that's what Binance and CZ Zhang is doing. CZ is doing CZ Zhang, right? It's like a race to get as much as it can because when the big boys come, it's, all, it's over in the U.S. anyway. In the U.S., it's over when they come, and they're coming. They're coming. My for me personally, why does this thing go dark sometimes? I don't understand it. But for me personally. I don't think the Bitcoin ETF is going to be great, the initial, right? This initial version is going to be great for retail. But I'm hanging out with Fidelity. That's just me personally. I'm hanging with Fidelity. Because Fidelity has shown uh, a measure of uh, favor for the digital asset space. I get it. They're in business and they're a for-profit organization. I get it. But at least they show some favor. I'm not sure BlackRock is out for anybody but BlackRock. So, but that's kind of me, you know, that's kind of, you know, how I see it. But I don't know, I'm, I'm a little confused about this, whether or not it's gonna get approved. And if it does get approved, it's gonna, it's gonna look a certain way. Who cares? It's just gonna be what it is, so. You know, it's just gonna be kind of what it is, just the way I see it. I don't know. That's, that's just kind of the way I see it. Forgive me, I have my air conditioner blasting. Because in Texas, you know, you know, if, if it's not 103, it's, you know, it's not Texas. It's it's, it's another state. Like, craziness. So, for me, fam, I think that Bitcoin ETF is going to happen. Look, it's great to see that the market is doing what the market does. That's awesome. But it's just doing what it does. Bitcoin over 30,000, cool. Uh, great. 
I still think it's just still sideways movement as far as I'm concerned. Of course, we all want the market to run. We all want it. I'm not expecting it. I'm planning for the opposite of running. That's what I'm planning on. Uh, that's kind of how I see it. I want to give you a little heads up on the whole Celsius network and those of us who are on Celsius as XRP holders and Cardano holders. Uh, uh, right now, it's... Um, it's kind of a back and forth now. They're, they're dealing with the loans, loans people and the earned people, kind of uh, going back and forth on the treatment of how people who have the assets in the earned product, people have the assets in loans, it was just their collateral, how they're being treated. It's, going, it's kind of a back and forth right now. M not much progress, but that's kind of where we are. Um, I mean, I you know obviously I was I have an, I had earned accounts right, I had several uh, assets there, and I also had my uh, loan as well so I'm in both places but my most important collateral is in a loan and now you know there's there's this big push to turn all the assets into Bitcoin and Ethereum it's just it's just not a great look it's gonna be a sad day if that does happen for me with loans it's gonna be very very sad um, so I'm praying please pray with me that they don't do that for collateral in loans uh, that they do determine that the collateral does belong to the people who have the loan and not with Celsius. So uh, I'm hoping and praying for that because I don't want my asset turned into, not that asset turned into Bitcoin and Ethereum. I don't mind the other assets, but not that one. You, you, you know what I'm saying. Not my XRP. I don't want it turned into Bitcoin and Ethereum. You know, I took my hard-earned dollars and I bought an asset for a reason. I didn't buy some other asset. You know, this whole Chapter 11 thing is just nonsense. It really is. But anyway, that's kind of the heads up on that. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the Flare Tokens. For those of you who might be wondering what's going on with Flare Token, I haven't heard anything since Hugo Filion from Flare Networks announced that they had come to an agreement with the people, people from Cell System. Uh, I'm going to look into my archives of my DMs. I'm going to reach out to the person who is quote unquote supposed to be the liaison working with uh, player networks and Celsius to see kind of where things stand. And she's pretty good in getting back. But I want to know what, look, we got the agreement. What's taking so long to, to issue to get ahead and distribute these flare tokens? I mean, we got the agreement. It's been made. What is taking so long? And I, I mean, I don't get it. Like, I don't understand what's taking so long to get that done. So I want to find out what's going on there. Whenever we have Twitter spaces, no one brings up the flare tokens and what's going on there. No one from the UCC brings it up. No one from people asking questions uh, bring it up. It's very, and it's very hard for me to get on these things live. I'm usually 90% of the time I'm listening to recording. So, but in any case, I'll try and find out. Uh, what's going on with the Flare Tokens. Look, HODL's strong right now. HODL's strong. For me, in the Crypto Seasons home, I'm planning on uh, BlackRock getting this Bitcoin ETF. It'll be great for the industry as a whole. I don't know if the first iteration of this ETF is going to be great for retail. But the fact that, you know, the news around it getting approved, I think, will be great. Uh, again, I'm not sure if BlackRock is a fan of of the digital asset space. I just think it understands where the digital asset space is going. I think Fidelity is more a fan of the digital asset space, if you know what I'm saying. More pro-crypto. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure BlackRock is pro-crypto. So, that's kind of where I am with that. We'll see. Uh, I'm kind of big Fidelity overall and products and financial products. And, you know, I'm more in favor of those. So, I like those a little bit more. I think they're more retail centric and favorable. In other words, they're not just not trying to rip them off as much. So, so we'll see how it goes. So, when when Fidelity gets more and more of the digital stuff, you know, I'm not buying anything now because you buy, you can't take it off. That's not great, right? So, I'll hang around and watch and see how this Fidelity progresses. But other than that, it's self custody, baby, self custody. Self custody. It's the Zum Wild, as far as I'm concerned. That thing is just becoming legendary. It's getting better and better as a wallet. Exodus is a great wallet. 
Legend Nano. All my stuff is off. It's just, you know, this whole idea, even thinking about a back door, I think they've been compromised. I think Ledger, the Legend Nano people have been compromised. I just, I don't, I don't know that for a fact, but I just think that is the case. I really do. So the market again doing what it does. XRP over 51 cents at one time. Awesome, amazing. This this new thing with Ripple, by the way, and I'll end with this. I think that's pretty cool that they got this. What is it? Agree in principle or approval in principle in terms of payments with the Monetary Authority of Singapore, the Central Bank of Singapore. That is outstanding. Pre-approval or approval in principle. Cool. I think that's great. I'm more excited about the automated market maker. I'm more excited about what's going to happen on the XRPL ledger with projects like uh, DexFi and projects like Expectar. That's what I'm excited about because that's it's going to be some retail, retail, bottom-up approach, if you will, type stuff. That's what I get excited about and uh, can't wait to learn more about. So. There it is, fam. Hodl strong. Note that this market is just doing what it does. It's just sideways movement. The Ripple case, shout out to John Deaton. The SEC versus Ripple. Interesting how long it has taken George, Judge Torres to rule on this. It's really interesting. I think that uh, she she's really weighing the significance of this case and she's dotting all the I's and crossing all the T's. I, I just don't think there's a human being with a with an ounce of integrity can look at those Hemming emails and not say that this was just this whole lawsuit was a ruse. It was a personal weapon. It was. I mean, I don't even think there's very much under the law for her to rule on. <laughs> right. I mean, investment contract. I mean, she may get pride of 15 sales, maybe against Ripple, but going forward today and going forward, just, just no, I don't believe there's there's like any shot. I just I don't believe it. I don't think there's any shot for the for an SEC win. Now, I think they'll try to snatch a, a win some way, somehow. <laughs> you know, try to twist and turn something. I think Ripple's fair notice defense is going to be amazing without question. And, uh, you know, getting clarity. I do think the challenge is XRP, and XRP may get that clarity, and the rest of the space might not. But if Ripple wins that fair notice defense, then a lot of projects are going to use that. They're going to snatch, grab, and take that uh, going forward as a part of an argument. The challenge is, will you be a project that can defend yourself for a long, extended period of time like Ripple has? because they got that war chest. So, we'll see. We'll certainly see. We'll certainly see. So pray for me. Pray for me that my collateral will stay as my collateral and not uh, in terms of my loan and not be changed to Bitcoin and Ethereum. Pray for me. Pray. Because it's not going to be a great look if that's the case. And even though I'm sure I'll be able to turn it back into XRP, but it won't be as many XRP as I started my loan with or I put into a loan. So hopefully, pray for me on that one, guys. All right, fam, look, I'm out. I got. I just came from the gym, and uh, I am going to uh, get the work, got some stuff to work on for sure, get that cash flow business got some stuff I got to do. I got a couple calls with some clients, potential clients as well. So, look, thanks for hanging out, cool family. It's been a real cool hang. Look, Sundays is my live stream day. Um, laptop is on the bus. I forgot to tell you. Laptop on the bus, on the brink, on the bus. I had to break down and go to freaking Geek Squad. Yeah, broke down with the Geek Squad. <laughs> Turned it in yesterday. So, when I get it back, I'll be doing the live stream. You know, Miss Crypto season, this whole Mac thing, this whole Apple Mac thing. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to hang with that thing. So we'll see. All right, fam. Look, thanks for hanging out. Never ever forget this, guys. Never ever forget that old money doesn't want you to win. But that's okay, though. Because you and I are already winning.
I'll talk to you soon, guys. See ya. Bye.